Hey there everyone, Hitesh here and welcome to the video number 1000. This video is all about sharing a little bit of experience of making 1000 videos on YouTube, answering some of your questions that I asked on my Instagram and AMA and a little bit more like that. So in case you are not interested in that kind of videos, I do have a lot of crash courses and coding related videos so go ahead watch them. But in case you decide to stay up here for this kind of video, Thank you so much. And I do have some personal things to share about these thousand videos and answering a little bit of your questions as well. Let's get started. So 1000th video on YouTube. Is it a big number? I'll be honest, I should be saying the line that yes, this is a big number and it's a big moment. Yes, definitely it's a big moment for me, but 1000th video is not really a big number for me. I do make a lot of video courses and I do make a lot of uh, corporate software specialized training for those particular corporates. So thousand video, yes, I have crossed that mark way, way long before in my life. But making thousand video on YouTube is still a big impact for me. And I'll tell you, there are three specific reasons why thousand video matters a lot for me personally. The first thing that makes me super happy about this thousand video is the contribution. A lot of people work through their code and put that code in the open source and that's their contribution. For me, making thousand video is my contribution towards the community. Making these videos, giving my time to make these videos, edit these videos and publish them out is my way of saying thanks to every single programmer and helping other budding programmers to learn something about coding, learn something about doing business and freelancing and, and a whole lot, whatever I have my experience. So this is my way of putting my contribution up front and I'm really thankful that community has accepted this contribution. My point number two is journey and impact. Now, the video I was making from the start of this YouTube channel and from where I have come right now is really a great journey and I'm really thankful that because of YouTube, this constant learning is going on and I have learned how to make videos, how to teach better and a whole lot of learning about design. I have gained a lot of skill and that is all possible because I have been constantly pushing things and its boundaries that how can I make better videos. Obviously, in the early days, I was not making as good as this type of videos. And in the future, I'll be improving way more than this. And this whole journey, this is one of the reasons why I love to make videos. It's a constant improvement. Not only just the journey, it has also given an impact over the community. A lot of us learn tech. I do the same. I learn a lot of tech. But I also learn a lot about video making skills and teaching skill as well. And this has given impact over the community. I am now friend a lot of YouTubers and other fellow creators and they always say this that we learn so much by your video quality, your audio quality and you are setting a benchmark that this is where I want to reach. And I'm really super happy to upgrade the entire community and inspire them to make better content and focus a lot on video quality, your audio quality, your content quality, the delivery style. There's a lot that impact that I'm making and I'm super happy. This impact cannot be measured with the numbers that do I have 3 million subscribers or a 500 subscriber or just 50 subscriber. Anybody can put an effort and make an impact in the quality and numbers really doesn't justify that. And the third reason why this video is super important is because of my mom and dad. My mom and dad watch my YouTube videos. They don't understand even a tad bit of what I'm saying here right now in this video or any other video. Especially my mom. She doesn't even understand what English it is and how to even read or write on all of these English. She is purely from Hindi background. She is uh, from Rajasthan and she just understands Hindi and Marwadi. No English at all. Still, I have seen many times she watches my videos and even my live stream. And I was really surprised and I asked her one day, why do you even watch my videos? These are not for your, your type of videos. You should be watching more for cookery videos and uh, the other kind of videos that she watches in the cooking style and making these special dishes and all of that. And she told me that I don't watch your videos because I really don't understand anything. But the reason why I watch your videos is simply because it's good. It's beautiful to see that every Saturday you go out live and you Take your time out of your busy schedule that you're trying to answer some of these questions. And I know that some of these questions are tough. Not all the questions can be easy. 
You have to put a smile and try to guide as best as possible to some of these students who are just looking forward that if somebody can give me just that tiny bit of advice, I can start my journey there. Now, of course, all of this conversation was in Hindi, but that got me a thought that, yes, through these YouTube videos, I'm making a small impact and even my mom and dad are super happy. In fact, this video was not planned to made ever. And in fact, uh, till the last night, I never thought that I'll be making this video. But today, in the early morning, I got a text from my dad saying, hey, congrats, you are about to put up a thousand video on the YouTube. And that's the whole reason I am making this video. So I'm really happy that my mom and dad are really proud on my work. And that is really, really most important thing for me. So personally, how does it feel to put a thousand videos? It feels the same as my 800th video. It feels same as my 500th video. Always exciting, always trying to do a little bit more than what I did yesterday or in the last video. And I'll be keep on doing it here. I'll be definitely making my uh, 1500 video, making my 2000th video. Or if for some reason, YouTube, my account all gets deleted or hacked or something, I'll start again and I'll do again my 100th video or something like that. This is really an interesting journey and I'm enjoying it. Okay, so that was the little boring part of the video, sharing my personal experience. But now I posted up uh, AMA on my Instagram and I'll be answering some of these questions. I'll be ignoring the questions like web developer versus Android or React versus Angular, a little bit more fun questions. So let's get started with that. Okay, so taking up your questions quickly, the first one says stand-up or sitcoms? Of course, stand-up, I'm a big fan. I buy a lot of tickets and I watch a lot of shows, so stand-up any day. The next question says video on stock market. I don't think I hold the capacity to act as a financial advisor, but here's, here's a quick word since you asked for it. None of the stock making app or investing in the stock is going to make you rich. Stock market is very volatile, but this doesn't mean I'm stopping you to invest in there. Invest there in the stock market, but make sure you are investing for a longer run, five years, six years, or a little bit more than that, and invest wisely in the company. And make sure you understand that there are risks involved. I know there are a lot of videos these days who are telling you and inspiring you to invest in stock and compounding and loading you, but remember, Stock can give you great amount of money, but also can take a great amount of money as well. Invest wisely, that is the most important thing. Probably I'll discuss these stock things later on sometime. Uh, but yes, again, I do hold a stock portfolio, but I don't hold any kind of coin portfolio. Okay, next one is interesting. At what age did you start learning programming? No, I'm not those privileged kid who started programming in just five or six years old. I started my programming journey in the college and I think that's a fair time to start your programming. Anything early is not gonna give you any fair advantage. You need to give a lot of time, a lot of effort and just make a lot of things. That's the only experience you're gonna get. So didn't start it early. Sagar says, uh, sir, come to Andaman for a vacation after COVID. I would love to visit any place right now. It's been two years, I haven't traveled anywhere and I'm really feeling a little not so great just sitting at home. I really need to travel. Hope things will get normal soon. Oh, that's an interesting one. What's the thing skill that you think coding teaches you, uh, but could be applied it to life in general? That's an easy one, patience. Most important thing, again, it invests, it works for your daily life, for stock investment, for portfolio, to anything in life, patience, and that coding teaches you a lot. Okay, here's an interesting one. How old are you? I'm old enough to see and to witness in the stadium of the cricket having goosebumps on the voice of saying Sachin, Sachin. And seeing that inspiring figure saying out loud that I never do advertisement for alcohol because it's not good for society. That's really inspiring. And to reaching at a stage by now, that same inspiring figure is doing ads on gambling. Money changes a lot of people. So yeah, old enough. Okay, that's an interesting and personal one. List of lenses you have. So I have a lot of lenses up here. Let me count them quickly. One, two, three, four, five. Gosh, I got 12 of them listed just up there. I'm pretty sure some of my desk might be having one or two more. I use a lot of these lenses and recently I did a photo shoot for my friend's restaurant because he was having a lot of dishes and wanted to put them in Swiggy and Zomato. So I do use them a lot apart from making these videos in the personal work as well. And I really enjoy shooting a lot of videos and photos, of course. Okay, this is the interesting one. Uh, I'll do a short for that. Uh, share any one failure you faced in your life until now and how you tackled it. 
I can tell you in short that I have faced more failure than a lot of people have made attempts. And that is one of the reasons why probably I've reached uh, this much far, which is nowhere almost, and I have to cover a lot of journey ahead still. What was your first programming job like? My first programming job was mostly like uh, scraping some of the data from competition. And one of the job, one of the role that I was doing was uh, the client was at some competition. And once the client was onboarded on our platform, our company, not my the other person's, uh, the company where I was working on that platform, we have to write a script to scrape and get all the data and move into our platform. So that was one of the role I was responsible for doing. And there is a lot of things in my inbox uh, stating and asking about what's my marriage plan. Uh, uh, there is no marriage plan right now. I'll surely do it some years ahead. I personally think that just getting married because of the age is the most preposterous idea ever I came along. You should never marry just because you are of that age. You should always marry when you find the right partner. You are financially stable. You are mature enough to handle the situations. And there should not be any hurry. First, explore the life. Explore things in life. Become a little bit more stable. Find the right partner. And then only get married. And right now, I just want to explore a little bit more of the world, so there's no plan of getting married, at least for a couple of years still. Okay, here's an interesting one. Uh, Congo, so what's your future plans on YouTube and when you made one video? Did you thought of you'll be making 100th video? Uh, yes. Uh, I, when I came on YouTube, I came with the intention that yes, I'll be staying here for long. I was already making good videos for a lot of people. Uh, when I came on YouTube, it was all about how can I improve myself over the time. So when I made the first video, I was pretty sure I'll be making 100th video and very sure that 1000th video will come up. Now, what, was I sure about the numbers that I'll get along with that and a whole lot of people that will be interacting with me over Instagram and on the streets as well? No, that was not sure. I still don't expect the numbers to climb up or anything, but one thing I'm sure about, I'll be making more videos. Okay, and there's an interesting one. What were the issues that you faced when you were building LCO? Uh, LCO is a newer name that a lot of you know. Uh, initially, it was known as educationtube.net. Yes, I owned that domain a long back. And I wanted to keep everything for free based on donation just. I wanted to have good mics and stuff. I started with that. A lot of my friends got involved in it but realized that we couldn't survive, we couldn't maintain the server cost and everything. So whole idea of bringing all of these courses and everything for free just died down. Bad business decision, should have been more cautious, but it taught me a lot and then eventually LCO came out. There, there were a lot of versions in between too. Okay, there's an interesting one. Uh, one of the most challenging situation as a tech YouTuber and how did you overcame it? I'm still facing it, I haven't overcome. One of the challenging situations as a tech YouTuber is you don't make money with the YouTubes and ads, you make money with the client deals and all of that. And one of the challenges that I am still facing is I don't have enough time to go back and forth with these so many offers that I've got in my inbox. I don't want to hire any agency because they force you to make videos on the subject or companies which I don't want to get associated with. So I don't know how to handle the situation yet to talk to the clients and how to manage the sponsorship and stuff. So I don't know how to still manage that. Okay, I think this is gonna be the last one. It's an interesting one. Uh, more unicorns this decade. Uh, I do have a personal thought. I think the concept of unicorn is just media hype. I, I know these companies are really great, don't get me wrong. I use some of these companies uh, a lot in my daily products and a whole lot of uh, corporate work as well. But I think the idea of just evaluation of a billion dollar, I don't think it's really too healthy for other companies. I think we should more focus on stability of a company and how much profit they are recording in the books and how much sustainable they are gonna be there. If it is a business, it needs to earn profit to be sustainable. For me personally, I think there is only one unicorn in India right now, which I call as Zoho. Really the most inspiring company, but much it is not much discussed among the students and YouTuber. I'll probably make a dedicated video on them because I love their concept and their self-sustaining growth. That is the most important thing we should be talking about. Okay, this is definitely the last one. Uh, please share about your all businesses in which you are involved. It will motivate us. Uh, I do hold a lot more businesses than just Learn Code Online and this YouTube channel. Some of them are offline, some of them are online companies, a couple of them are just 100% offline stores and stuff, so I do hold a couple of them. 
it sometimes get really hard to get time for all of them but i think that diversifying yourself your business your wealth your investment and your income as well is one of the most important thing don't just rely 100% on online or 100% on offline if you can diversify yourself so yes i am involved in a lot of thing apart from that i also do job as well in couple of startup and i have openly said that i do own a couple of business and works they were fine with that so i do provide my consultancy and my tech skills in two companies uh, so i'm involved in a lot of things okay so i know this is a really long video and we're going to keep on continuing this in the saturday live and i'm really looking forward to see you in those live streams as well so do subscribe in case you are considering that in case not don't worry i'm here you can do that later on as well so that is all thank you so much for being with me on with in my 1000th video i'll be here with more such awesome videos and crash courses so that is it thank you so much and i'll catch you up in the next one i don't know if i'm okay i don't see the light of day looking up to high your crown thinking that i'll be your sweet escape these days got a schedule to romance they say that love is a slow dance a short bike ride to the crib use no hands oh shit it feel like i'm floating but i'm falling with both eyes closed when i let the world spin testing the water she got my nurse test back when i ain't even have a purpose i was so